Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's quick tip. I'm Chris, and I'm here with Mike. And today we'll be talking about how to create an ICC profile using Color GPS in ErgoSoft. Now, Mike, we've made our linearization and we've done our total ink limit chart. What are the next steps to create a profile using ErgoSoft? Sure, thanks, Chris. The next step is to open up Color GPS and start creating the profile. It is in our calibration menu, Color GPS. And once that opens up, you should have your print environment listed here by default, because that's the one that you had, you've been working on. But just make sure that this is set to the environment that you've been working on. And now we can go to create the actual chart. Click Next. And in this window, we have some settings that we have to set up. Um, the top one is our total inclement. By default, it's set to 300, and that's what we got from our total inclement chart. It was 300. Um, you also need to set GCR. Now, GCR can be set to none, or uh, you can set it manually, or you can choose one of the options. So what this is is... Are we going to use cyan, magenta, and yellow ink to create a gray color, or are we going to use black ink? So black ink, if you're using black, it's only one ink, right? So it's cheaper than G than using CMY, but using CMY, you get a nicer shade, and you can get a lighter shade of black or gray without it being um, a bunch of big dots that you can see. In my experience, I always recommend using GCR2. Uh, it says black in dark tones. So if you're printing an image and you have a black color, it's going to use black ink. But if you have a, a deep blue, it's also going to use black. But if you have like a nice, uh, maybe a nice skyline and there's some medium blues up there, it's going to use CMY to create any grays that it needs as opposed to using black. So I recommend using GCR2. You can use GCR1, but that's going to use more ink. So like I said, it's kind of a balance of what you want. If you have a gray ink or a light black, you could try using three and four, but you might just want to try one and see how it looks, basically. Uh, user defined, you're able to make your own curve here. So if you feel like it, you can give that a shot sometime. We are going to use GCR2. Now we have to select how many patches are in our calibration chart. Uh, the, you know, we recommend, I would say a minimum of a thousand, maybe 1500 to 2000. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna pick a medium precision here and we're gonna click calculate. Um, for the demonstration, I'm gonna use a smaller number. So I'm just gonna use this amount. Um, if you would like to, you can click test chart size here and it'll tell you how many charts you're going to have. So you're going to have two pages. It's going to be 10 patches per row, how many rows on the first page and how many rows on the second page. Uh, so then we're going to hit print. And it does basically the same thing as the linearizations. This will automatically generate a chart. There's no editing of this chart, so it's automatically going to rip. You can see it in the bottom right and it printed. And then when you print out the chart, then you can measure it in. Click measure. And then what you do is you you go through the whole process of measuring like you normally would a linearization, except again, this is going to have different colored patches. I've already measured that, so I'm going to load in my data. And then once it's measured and you're happy with it, you make sure all the colors are accurate. You make sure that the, the red patch came out with two measurements of red. You want to look through the colors and make sure blue is blue and yellow is yellow and red is red, right? Hit OK. And then from here, you can see that we have it measured in. It says show measurement, so you can actually go back in and look at your measurement if you want. So then you click here, generate profile. And it's going to be two processes. This should take maybe five minutes or so. Two, three, four, five minutes, depending on your computer. Once the profile is generated, this window will pop up. And this allows you to take all this information here and copy it over to here, or you can edit this and put any information you want. So you just hit OK. This will finish. 
it gives you this little message. The ICC was created. It was embedded into your print environment. It's telling you basically it's not saved as a separate file. It's embedded into your print environment. Let me show you that right now. So we hit OK and we hit finish. So this is our print environment. If we go into the settings of the print environment, you'll see now we have this information and this is the same information I just showed you how it has ink limit. GCR2 down here it has your linearization, right? So this is the information that is embedded into your print uh, ICC profile. And see here it says embedded, so you are able to export it if you would like. And then you could use it for whatever other purposes you want to use it for. Once that's done, hit OK. And now you're ready to print some test prints, do some testing, print out whatever you want to print to test, see how good your profile came out. And that's the end of the process. Excellent. Well, very helpful, Mike. This is going to be extremely useful for anyone that's uh, either roughly familiar with the process in Ergosoft or doing it for the first time. Certainly, uh, as always, if anyone has any questions, please contact us. And thanks for watching.